I'm excited to show CI and talk about world's fastest CI, which is, uh, you know, it's a pretty bold claim. And usually a lot of companies would just put together a PowerPoint slide, but we thought we'd actually do a live demo head to head of Harness against one of the other competitors in the market. And we could pretty much choose any CI system that we wanted to compete against, but we figure everyone's familiar with GitHub. So we're going to run against GitHub Actions here, and we're going to highlight some of the speed advantages of our Harness CI. And the way we're going to do this is by using an open source project. Most people are familiar with Apache Kafka, kind of powers the streaming world, and it's a very extensive uh, application that we can use with a lot of unit tests. So there's actually over 16,000 tests in Apache Kafka. So what we're going to do here is I'm actually using a pull request from a real production change in Kafka. And I'm going to reopen this. And what this will do is it will initiate builds on both Harness CI and GitHub Actions. So if I switch over here, we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison. So on the right-hand side is GitHub Actions. And then on the left-hand side, I will load up Harness here to show a live build going side by side. And essentially what you're going to see is this will run pretty quickly, actually extremely quickly, uh, on Harness CI compared to GitHub Actions. And we're using test intelligence here and also our new hosted builds. So now when developers go and build Harness CI pipelines, they don't actually have to provide their own infrastructure. And that infrastructure is specialized based on their needs and their architectures. So the idea here is to make Harness fast by default. You don't have to think about how you're building up you know, your infrastructure for builds. So while it's running, I'm actually going to show a couple of the other enhancements with Harness CI and talk about the developer experience in terms of building the pipeline. Harness is known for having a visual editor, which allows you to build pipelines quickly for CI and CD uh, without actually having to write YAML. But most of our power users are actually building most pipelines as code. So we want to improve the as code experience, and this is especially key for CI. So I'm going to go here as a developer and just create a new pipeline. And I'm going to give it a name. In this case, I'll just, I'm going to relive my glory days in my 20s when I used to write a lot of Java code and uh, go here and click Start. And I'm going to build this inline. We can obviously import this uh, from a Git repo as well. So this is our new editing experience for YAML. And we're doing a couple innovations here in terms of building pipelines fast. So now, based on my context, so here I'm writing a Java application it's going to give me intelligent options for building out the pipeline automatically. So here I can just say Java with Gradle. And essentially, this will auto-complete pipelines based on my intention. So this is something we're building across all languages and across all steps to allow users to build pipelines as code very quickly. And then over here on the right-hand side, you can see the plugin interface. Harness CI is built on Drone, which is an extremely popular uh, open source project with over 20,000 GitHub likes. Drone has a very robust plugin ecosystem, but there's a lot of other third-party plugins out there as well. And so now we integrate in with GitHub plugins by default, which is over 13,000 plugins as part of the ecosystem. And so that, in combination with Drone, gives us a lot of flexibility and makes it really easy for developers to leverage open source plugins in their harness pipelines. So if I go back actually to the speed test here, we can see that harness is just about done. So we, if I refresh here, it should be still, uh, still loading. And we see GitHub Actions on the right. Uh, actually, yeah, we are complete uh, one minutes and 45 seconds. And then over here on the right-hand side, we can see uh, GitHub is running. This typically takes about 22 minutes on GitHub compared to harness. So that's almost a 10x savings.